So I waited until 9am so I could sell uh, alchemy type stuff. Uh, I sold quite a lot of stuff, made a lot of room, and I even sold my potions because I decided that I'm not going to be using them. Uh, I'm keeping these though. Um, what else? I decided that... Let's see, I should put more points into body magic. So she can heal for more points. And that's gonna bring her under 119, but I can just fix that with a horseshoe if that ends up being an issue, which it shouldn't. But, uh, yeah, I want everybody to be above 119 skill points. For her... Um, for him, let's see, hmm, I think, I think I'm pretty satisfied with, with everybody's level of skill points right now, so, right. okay, the gods isn't in danger of running out anytime soon. The only one I need to put back on is... Oh. Can we still need more gold? No, I deposited my gold. Alright, actually, I know how to remedy the situation. Alright, alright, hang on, hang on. You got this. Uh, I'll take out these ones. That's one of them. Can we assist you? Be with you? No, he doesn't. It's 50, right? 55. Can we assist you? No. Can we assist you? No. Be Alright, we have feet in there. Alright, Dragon Rider Caves, here we come. Hang on, let's, let's see. We got that room, that room, so I have that one, and this path, and this path. Which will most likely run to multiple rooms each. So, what am I? Okay, good, good, good. Looking very good. I decided that in the Tomb of Varn, I will be using Shrap Metal against the... Uh, I don't remember the specific names. The, um... Red clothing wearing barns and possibly the highest level genies. Otherwise, I can get through the dungeon without shrapnel. I'll basically be saving shrap metal for those specific enemies. I don't know. Actually, while I'm here, let me collect a bunch of stuff I missed, and, uh, at some point before 4, I'm gonna go back to the town and start selling a bunch of my stuff. I say before 4 because that should be when the alchemy place closes. Yeah, the power cure is going to be coming in handy until the very end of the game. I've been using it consistently since I got it, and I don't have any intention of stopping anytime soon. That is very nice. Um, okay, let's hang on. Let's let's uh getting too much good loot here. Um, um Very nice. Okay. I uh Wow. Aha That's Alright. Um Wait, hang on, where'd my sword go? Oh, yeah, I need to get to her. 
Yeah, I, uh... Can anybody else use swords? Nobody else can even use swords, which means I'm done with this one. And is being replaced by this one. Very happily. Let's, let's see. Let's see how much of a difference that makes, actually. Uh... Hmm. I would think that would make a much bigger difference. But still, there's the extra 10 to 20 points of fire damage. That's pretty significant. I'm quite pleased with that. Skull pile. Uh. You know, it's been a while since I even tried the skull piles, so let's let's give them a whirl. All right, what's this? Ah. Why would I want that? Aha! Ah, nah. Ah. Nah. I guess I can at least sell this. Is there anything in here? There's. Very nice. Okay, I need to stop getting really good stuff. Man, I'm gonna have to go back to town so many times to sell all this stuff. Alright, so let's see. Um, I'm selling all of this. Nobody I have can use blade armor. Aha! One moment. <coughs> I tried to sneeze away from the, uh, the microphone on my laptop. That's pretty nice. Do you have anything else that regenerates hit points? Whatever she does. Um, Very nice. I guess she she can take that over that. Okay. I don't know. Uh, ah. Put an enchantment on it. That's pretty good. Not worth replacing what I'm using. I don't know. That's Very nice. nice. That's really good. That's the same as the one he's using. Fire resistance or hit points. I guess I'll go with fire resistance. I don't know. Very nice. Yeah. Alright, back to town. Just to sell a bunch of stuff. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Looking for a weapon? Come again. I'll keep this for a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I don't need this. This. Um, I guess I don't need this. I don't need that. I'm keeping that. Don't need this. Looking for a weapon? Ah, uh, blacksmith. Well, I do have this. Come again. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back. Looking for a weapon? Alright. Come again. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. I'm gonna be even more ridiculously rich when I'm done with this dungeon. No way I'm ever using all that money. I'm not even going to bother healing because I'm just going to go around picking up the stuff I left behind last time for the moment, for the time being. Tend to all seven statistics. Guess I'll give it to Nebula. I don't need this belt anymore. Plus ten spell point speed and all that.
this to him and sell that. Oh. That's pretty good. We'll be giving that to somebody. Aha! Okay, and, and yeah, back. back to the town to sort this all out again. Alright. Um don't need it. I don't know. Oh. Sell me for sure. Oh! Don't need it. Okay. Looking for a weapon? He's a weapon. Come again! Looking don't touch the merchandise. Come back. Very nice. So, so. Wow. Legend has it this shield was given as a gift from the gods to a man wishing to fight their terrible, the terrible Medusas in their stronghold. The shield is reflective and prevents the wielder from being frozen by all, by the stony gaze of the Medusa. It also carries an enchantment that helps protect against arrows. The shield is very heavy and it will slow the user down a bit. Special powers, immune to flesh to stone effects, shielding plus 20, shielding, what? Whatever, plus 20 luck and minus 20 speed. Um, it's not extremely good, but I'm just gonna keep it just because it's an artifact. Um, let's see. So I guess I might as well just replace this one for now, and then I'll keep this and maybe get this uh -huh. one later. Can I put an enchantment on that? So, uh -huh. oh. That's good. I might put this on somebody. So. Two more enchantments. So. Well, maybe not. I, I might, might want to use that. And nothing like that. Alright. So, so this is one. Looking for a weapon? Everything there to sell is in here. Don't touch the merchandise. Okay. Come back soon. I'm gonna try to do this quickly so the store doesn't close. on that track oh. yet. I could have ended ah. badly. Well, I should give this to him. I don't know. Oh, is this gonna be Aha. Wow. That's pretty nice, but it's not gonna be as good as anything I'm using right now. Very nice. That's pretty nice as well. That might actually be worth using for with somebody. Who can use that? Two to four plus eight, six to fifteen. Two to four plus eleven, nine to twelve. Oh, why didn't I realize she could use this instead of what she's been using? What about her? Um. Two to four plus eight. Two to five plus nine. Could she use this? She can. Uh, I'll keep this for now. Consider it later. Ah. Back 
looking for a weapon? I don't know. Oh, wait. Whatever. Coming. I don't know. Very nice. Don't I don't know. Oh! I guess I didn't need either of them since nobody's gonna be using plate armor. I was just seeing if there's a chance to get the looking for a weapon. See ya, cheapskate. Don't touch the merchandise. Well, I never. Come back soon. Sell those, the alchemy. Shop. Can I help you find anything? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Alright. This is all. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Back to. Oh, no, I should first, uh. Heal everybody. Can we assist you? Look at that, over 140,000, and I started the video with zero. This is pretty great. Pretty great. Lots of uh, economic opportunities. I think I'm gonna nickname this dungeon. The well. Prototype for the name of this dungeon is going to be a uh, dungeon of economic opportunities, but I'm I'm going to try to come up with a more slick way to say that. So that's the basic idea. Behind it. Yeah, I've gotten over a lot of damage, and I'm doing over 108 points of damage with Nebula, which is good. Well, I mean, I'm doing 108. I meant to say I'm doing over 100. Oh, I really wish I could use that. Alright. Why is Deanna getting hurt so badly? Alright, well, I tried to dodge both of their attacks, and I got hit by both of their attacks, so I just wasted a bit there. She just ran at him. Tried to kill him quickly to avoid the extra attack there, but whatever. No big Alright, looking good. It's in the barrel. Uh, oh. Alright, whatever. Make sure I don't get hit with the traps. Got it. Aha. Ah. Oh. Ah. Um, it's a fish. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. Got it. Oh. Okay. Aha. Not good enough to keep. Ah. Alright, you should be almost done here. There's probably only two or three more rooms. Looking for a weapon? Come again. Ah. Yeah, whatever. Don't touch so the merchandise. Come back. Armor takes up the most room, so I should probably sell that first every time. Very nice. Ooh, when did I get those? Uh, I guess I can give these to her. There we go. Looking 
for a weapon? Come again. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. I think it rings, do I? Nope. Can I help you find anything? Thanks. Come again. Alright. Um, there's still more down this path. Oh, I should yield. Oops. Let's, uh, let's get some power cures. I'm wondering if I can clear this dungeon and finish selling everything with time to go up to uh, Free Haven and add some spells to my repertoire. Nothing to be afraid of when the enemies are, uh... No, okay, okay, let me... Let, let's, let's forget I tried to say that. No need to be afraid of enemies that are named after kitchen utensils. Okay, you know what? Maybe... Maybe we'll be a little more careful. Maybe we come back to this dungeon, uh... After some healing. Fixed. I just sell this. That's all. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon.
there's still one alive back here? Did he just like run all this way after I... Oh, okay. Trap metal kills him so quickly. I'm never gonna get over know. that. It's so Whoa. satisfying. All right, let's let's check this out now. Speed plus 24. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Never mind. I'll figure that out after the video. It's fixed. All right. We should be able to finish the enemies that are in that room before I go back to New Sorbical. What time is it? Four, oh, well. That took a little more time than I wished. Just hope I don't get too much alchemy-related stuff. So. I got more plate armor. That's what I wanted. Very nice. And I got more plate armor. I don't know. Nothing I need more than armor I can't use. Different chests. Aha. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Aha. I don't want the rest of that. Hang on, I have to sneeze again. Almost. Come on. Come on, sneeze. I forget it. Alright, let's read this diary page. We're gonna read someone's diary. Hmm. Attempting to use the force on the dragon... Uh, <sighs> Attempting to use force on the dragon towers was a mistake, as the lesson at Creekspire taught us. We lost nearly a score of our mounts in the attack and barely managed to deactivate the tower. Fortunately, our allies in Icewind Pass have located the keys needed to turn off the towers completely. Soon we will be able to fly again, the peasants scattering before us as the hares scatter before the wolves. I have been trapped in these caves for too long. Even Goliath, my mount, is becoming restless. With the dragon tower shut off and the armies to the south delayed from reaching us, we will be able to ride free once more. 
So they would be uh, these knights that ride the dragons. I mean, if if you couldn't figure that out from the from the name of the dungeon, then uh, what's wrong with you? Chance of disarming? Oh, disarming traps probably. I don't need that. But uh. Aha. I'll come back for this all later. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Oh wait, hang on. I can fit. Uh, fit this in. There we go. Right. Enchant. Yeah. And enchant. So they're gonna be uh, quite happy that I shut off the dragon towers, so they can go do their little shenanigans, and then they're going to be quite unhappy that I killed them, so that they can't. So, you know, it, it seems like they sort of are going to have a love-hate relationship with me. Probably more towards the hate side since it's not killing all of them. They're me. Oh, I really hope okay. I saved there. Okay, I did. Good. Alright, um... Guess I should heal before I take on that Looking for a weapon. Come again! Don't touch the merchandise. Come back. So... 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 This? Yeah, okay. Looking for a weapon? No, it's a weapon guy. Come again! Don't touch the merchandise. Come back so Alright. Come on, back over here. Doing pretty good. This is taking a little longer than I thought it would. Thought it would be in Vorn by now, but... There are still some enemies in this room. I must have walked all the way to that other room. It's a bit Sort of like I'm phasing in and out of existence to the game. Alright, let's uh, see if this fixes it. Okay. Well, I hope that doesn't happen again. I don't think it was that I got stuck in the ground. Because that wouldn't explain my, why my lights were flickering on and off. That was strange. Alright. Oh, just, just a few... Okay. Take on the 
Nothing! I've already made more than a quarter of a million off of this dungeon alone, I'm not even done with it. this branch. Now all that's left is this branch right here. And then I'm done with the Caves of the Dragon Riders. Alright, that didn't go so well, but uh, I'm sure take two will, most definitely. Ah, oh, well, that didn't work so well. That's fine. I feel good about this. It's a little too high. Okay. Share life, few power cures, and I'll be ready to go. There you go. And let's do this. Back for you guys momentarily. Last five or so enemies in the dungeon.
Let's say I got a hat. Very nice. Why are they still giving me these things? Uh, oh yeah. Ah, oh. Aha. Too much stuff. Alright, well I don't need it then. Very nice. Lasting. Death. I guess I'll keep the death. Death, death, shrinking, distortion, trap metal, distortion. I'm to put the distortions next to each other. Aha! And I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, forget it. Wait, can I? Yeah, there we go. I'll have him pick it up, and then I'll have him enchant it. I don't know. And I just want the stuff out of my inventory, so I'll go sell it to the general store. Wait, is the general what? What hours are the general store open? Have a look around. Okay, yeah, it's still open. All right, well, I'll get less money for it, but that's less than half the price. Reno, the shopkeeper. You. All right, whatever. I don't know. I guess I can sell this stuff now. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, she doesn't even know, and I don't even really care. Cause I can't wear it anyway. Have a look around. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you for giving me inferior prices. Have a look around. Thank you. There we go. All right, now back to Vorn. Can we assist you? Be with you. Mm. Um, okay, so hers is the farts and door. It's not saying much though. Alright, let's see. I think the best place to start. So I could use the jump spell and go into there, or I could try to like fall into that hole from above. My main three options, well, I'm not, I'm not, assuming I'm not going to do this, my main three options are to check out this room right here. I have a pretty good memory of what that room's like. Actually, I remember this entire dungeon pretty well, because I spent so much time in it, but, uh, I believe this path right here will eventually lead to this room right here, which is where I put the thing on that, uh, right there. So I can follow that path and go there. I guess I'll probably do that. And then there's also a path for me to follow here, which will take me to a lot more places. So I'll go this way first. There's something that made you run a little faster. Now where? Go this way. Why is that little corner white on the map and the rest of it's gray? Oh, um, by the way, in case I didn't mention this and you haven't figured this out yet, white means that it's on the same height level as where you are now. The gray means it's either higher or lower. So 
obviously the enemies here are pretty strong, but as long as they're not like maddening eyes or anything, they're manageable. Here's some genies. Will they be at the end of this path? I don't remember. Oh. That's... That's the elevator, I think. Pretty sure that's the elevator. And it would be quicker just to get back this way. Oh yeah, there's also that door right there. I forgot about that. Maybe I'll go there next. In fact, yeah, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I will. How did I forget about that? It's sort of an important part of the dungeon. Alright, that's the exit. That's nothing. That's nothing. So. Clicking this. Makes the elevator go down. Clicking this. The trap and clicking this. There's also a trap. Alright, so if I take the elevator down. Right. Okay, so I was right about that. So let's take the voice beacon back. And let's reload to get the music going again. Place another Lloyd's Beacon right here. Just because why not? Hey guys. Is he about to jump off? Uh, whatever. Alright, make sure to go. Just to make sure they're not gonna get me. I don't think there's. Okay. Yeah, there's enemies down there, just not immediately when you open it. Let's try to attract them a few at a time. Alright, come up here. Oh, can we not come up here? I might not be stairs. Um, well, alright, I guess I just gotta go. Oh, is it really just those three? Alright, well, I think. So he has about. 650 health, probably. So we'll see if his neck comes red. Check his health. 617. Alright, I'll Breaking my stuff. It's fixed. And we're good. All right. Black gold. Another enemy. A lot quicker. You, um, she's not, not asleep, she's unconscious. So there are um, multiple codes that we'll need. When the landing commences, Captain, take this code scroll to the central control room and speak activator key K-R-I-K -K when prompted. All of the sen senior officers must present their code scrolls and keys to open the way. Yours is the last key in the sequence. Alright, so we'll, we'll need all these codes. We'll need to actually type those in. Just like we did for the code in Castle Alamos. Password. I'm not even exactly sure who was asking me for that, that password nice. in that dungeon, but whatever. I 
I think it's probably possible that if somebody doesn't have the jump spell here... Oh, no, never mind. There's a way back. I was gonna say there might not be a way back for them. They might have to just, like... I don't know, would they even be able to kill themselves? Like, if you have a full team of knights, that means you have no magic, so that would... That would mean that you're trapped down there permanently. You wouldn't even be able... You, there wouldn't even be a way to kill yourself, but uh, there's a little path right here. So never mind that. Let's try to take this guy down, actually. Turn these blue just so they're a little easier to hit. Uh, can I hit, hurt them with prismatic light? Yeah. Alright, well, forget that. He doesn't have fireball. Ice blast. Um, not really much she can use. Now hit all of them. close to wearing off? No. Nothing else is either. Yeah! Chalk one more up for the bit. Alright, we're good. Am I getting hit by anybody else? Or attacked? Uh, no. Alright, let's cure weakness. Nice line of items underneath me. That'll be fun to collect. So, since I spent so much time in the caves of the Dragon Riders, I didn't end up getting too much progress in Varn. This will have been my third video that I've spent time in Varn, but it's really the equivalent of about one video's worth of time. Okay, this room is pretty big, too. Um, yeah. Another cleansing pool here. I'll stay... well, no, no, I'll come back up that ramp later. Let's heal. There's some varns up there. Okay, I thought there were enemies in this corner over here. I guess I was wrong. Are there enemies on this ramp up here? No, I was just seeing them through the wall. Alright. The, the enemies must be in this corner, because I'm quite sure there are enemies in one of these corners. There we go. Bunch of... Yeah. Alright, that's, that's kind of spooky. 
I'm gonna stay away from that for now. Let me go clear out this room first. Gee! I, uh... Wonder what sort of enemies will be in this room that I'm about to go into. Why, in fact, maybe this room doesn't even have any enemies in it. That would be quite the pleasant surprise. Yes, I bet the game is going to be nice and have there be no- Oh, does the... Do I not have the key to open this? I don't know. Very nice. Well, that sucks. Alright, I'll be back here later then. Uh, that's pretty good, but I'll sell it. That's beyond my when skill. Did that happen? What did I just do? Fixed. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do I try to take on those genies? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. It would be really nice if I could fly in here. Alright, first let's see if Prismatic Light hurts them. Doesn't hurt them at all. Alright. That's unfortunate. Um... Okay. Okay. There we go. This will do something at least. Alright, alright, here's the other one. How much damage am I? Oh man, that is not... Does the fire not even hurt the Afrites? All right, this is not an uh, this is not an efficient tactic for taking out the genies. Um, I'm just going to ignore the genies for now. Maybe I'll take them out when I come back here to go into this room or something. I don't know. Huh? Did I just use the back door key? Yes, I did. I have a pretty good idea of what the paths in this dungeon are like. It's not... Not enough that I'm willing to trust... Trust my judgment. I... I remember that room right there. In fact... Um... So basically... There are these big pool rooms. I think they're probably cleansing pools. And each of these little things coming out of them has enemies hidden in them. Look at that big conglomeration of genies up there. Alright, let's try going this way. Is I just green? Trying to heal. 
I guess. And I need to die. Someone from another room thinks they can see me, it looks like. Okay, that's nice. How? How is that genie carrying a longbow on him? Also, I just remembered it might be a good idea to put these on so I'm resistant to sleep. If it starts becoming too much of an issue with the genies putting me to sleep, then I'll definitely do that. Thing, Josh and Boo. See the, uh, their spell animations are messing up my attacks again, because when I don't have a direct line of sight, I can't do Alright, alright, one more. I remember when that one djinn was giving me trouble back in the... that one dungeon, Shadow Guild. Very nice. That was cute. That was... That was cute. Well, I know where it is, and I know I'm not anywhere near having to face it, but, uh, I'm just hearing that sound. I would recognize that sound anywhere. Oh, that's, um... So I guess this is, uh... Hang on, I'm rubbing my eye. Oh, that felt good. Oh, yep, I heard it again. Um, I think this is a pretty good time to end the video. It's cleared out a nice section of the dungeon. I will be going this away next video. Next video should be focused entirely on Varn. Um, If it were like three hours earlier, I would go rest. But, uh. I guess. I guess I'll try to just, uh. 
revive him so he can time portal us back. Actually, I should be able to... There we go. That town portal has a uh, success rate of 10% the point of skill and water magic. That's why it didn't work twice in a row. I just got bad luck. Closed. Oh, that's... Yeah, well... Oh, crap. Uh, no, no, no. Hang on. I don't want that. Um... Um... We can't rest here. Let me find a place where I can... We can't rest here. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um... That on. Okay, protection on. Okay, protection on. And. Power to power. And then with her. Put on. Uh. Something, something else I was thinking about just crossed my mind and I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. Voice beacon. Yeah, right there. Uh, that's good. I don't need full spell ones with him anyway. I'll continue right here in the next video. Well, There's nothing I can do. It's fixed. It's fixed. Yeah. Continue right here in the next video. Varn.